I think light is like such an important part of Cal in a way that we don't think because, um, you know, obviously we have the candle lighting thing. That's, that's a huge tradition and Christmas at Luther and it's an amazing thing. Um, but another thing is I feel like light just invites the audience, like in the sense that um, when we ever do the big group hymns, including the audience, the lights come on. And that's the first time that we're able to see the audience members and try to find, you know, our parents or our siblings or anyone. Um, and so I think that's one of my favorite parts too, is to see the lights turn on um, and see everyone's faces. My first Christmas at Luther in 2017, um, I distinctly remember our closing piece, um, A Mighty Fortress. And when we hit that, those final notes, those final chords, when we were done with that piece, I remember the emotion coursing through my body, um, looking out into the audience and seeing my family and just finishing your first Christmas at Luther performance and all the hard work, the blood, sweat and tears that went into all those rehearsals and everything like that leading up to that moment um, just finally felt so worth it. Another big moment that I loved um, was sophomore year. So two years ago, uh, we, for our closer, we're singing, um, uh, what was the piece called? That was the closer. Yeah, Ring Out Ye Crystal Spheres. And when we sang Emmanuel and the lights just lit up, that was pure magic. And that was like chills everywhere. My favorite moment from that, so fun. One of my favorite things ever about Cal is that feeling you get when we all kind of slowly come in right at the beginning and um, <laughs> and we're waiting there and everyone's kind of talking in the audience and then it all hushes down because it gets real dark. And then usually the orchestra starts and plays while we're all standing there. And it's that, that one moment where the lights turn on and we sing right as the lights turn on. Like that is just, oh, like let's do it, let's sing. Like that's fun. I love that so much. Yeah, as hard as like, learning all this music and all the hymns like trying to cram all that into our brain and like whispering the lyrics as we walk out um i just remember that like alumni loved ones alike all of us are singing together enjoying each other's company singing christmas hymns and just like i think that whole connection of us sharing the space of luther and just loving what we do making music it just means the whole world when we're all connected during Christmas time.
Welcome. I bring you greetings from all of us here at Luther College. It has been a tumultuous year from navigating a global pandemic, wildfires and tropical storms, to trying to bind ourselves together as a society in a polarized political climate, to confronting the elusive nature of justice for all as a culture. Nature and culture both have been anything but calm this year. But we hold fast to Proverbs 21:15. When justice is done, it is a joy. As we gather for Christmas at Luther in this Advent season of 2020, we do so in recognition of the power that even a virtual event such as this brings. You will hear new and familiar music, songs of justice, and songs of the joy at Christ's birth. All across the world, alumni, friends, and strangers will experience what happens when voices and instruments join together to create as singers and instrumentalists who set aside the differences they brought into their performance spaces in favor of the ensemble, a union of parts, parts of a thing taken together. The glorious result is offered freely to everyone, just as Christmas marks when Jesus Christ was for everyone born. Welcome to Christmas at Luther 2020, for everyone born.
We shall walk through this valley in peace, dear friends. No one can blame us for feeling anxious, afraid, weary, and worn. This is without question a trying time. The problems of the world can seem too big for us, even before we found ourselves in the midst of a global pandemic. We were surrounded by hunger and homelessness, violence in our neighborhoods and in our schools, racism, sexism, bigotry, and hatred. We can lose faith, and it can seem like there is precious little that we can do. But the good news is that Jesus himself is still our leader. A child is born to teach us that even the little we can do is precious. In every act of love and kindness, God is seen and God is known here on the earth as it is in heaven. Philosopher and activist Cornel West reminded us to never forget that justice is what love looks like in public. So my friends, make haste to be kind and be quick to love. For in every act of justice, when we honor and serve the Christ in our neighbor, the Christ in us is revealed and hope is restored. Indeed, God will delight when we are creators of justice and joy.
Um, I like to think of this year's theme for everyone born kind of in, uh, encompassing everything that the Luther community stands for. Um, and even the words in the piece, I think Luther prides itself on attempting to build an inclusive space for all, um, for justice, for everything that we will be um, trying to convey in this year's Cal. Um, so I like to think of it as, you know, this is, this is Luther, this is what we stand for, um, this is what we're trying to accomplish, this is what we're trying to encapsulate at our institution. Um, and I think this year's theme does a really good job of that. I think people underestimate how powerful Cal is and how the message of Cal can, can go home with people that night and make them think. And I think if anything is, is gonna be accomplished after this uh, virtual performance is we're gonna make the audience think. Think about what's coming up for our world. What's, what's going to be accomplished in the near future? How are we going to change? And you know, in the age of you know, the, the um, social climate being at a weird place in the world right now, and um, the division of power that Tom Trenny talks about in the mass piece that we're singing is, is almost more relevant now than when he, it, it seems when he wrote the piece. We want to bring that togetherness and that connection for everyone, that equality for all, and that accessibility, just everything that could happen with an online cow, a virtual cow. Um, bring us all together at the table and bring us all together as one and just listening and cherishing and taking advantage of every moment we have with one another. Think about, um, especially with this theme, I think about it, inclusivity, like, and it's especially um, makes a lot more sense when we have that accessibility for everyone to see it. We might not always consider the word justice when we're thinking of Christmas time, but I think of also in, um, in the closer, Ring Out Your Crystal Spheres that we did a couple of years ago for Christmas at Luther. Um, there's a line that Dr. Last pointed out at, during a rehearsal, yay, truth and justice. Um, and I just remember that, that being so prominent in my memory of the Christmas at Luther that year, the word justice and how it applies to Christmas and how it applies to um, the theme that during Christmas time, we're all together. It's a, it's a time of togetherness, a time of coming to see family that you haven't seen in a while, celebrating with friends, you know? Um, whether, whether you celebrate Christmas or not, it's a time that you can come together and experience joy and compassion with one another. And so to, to see those words and those themes. That we're working for justice. And I really like that. We are meant to live together as unique individuals and experience this world together and celebrate what makes us who we are. Even if that is not celebrated by some people, you are worth celebrating, no matter who you are, no matter where you come from, how you identify, you are worth celebrating.
The book of Luke chapter 2 verse 7 says, She wrapped him in swaddling clothes and laid him in a manger, because there was no room for them in the inn. This year's Christmas at Luther theme for everyone born suggests there is a place at the table for everyone. And what better exemplifies that than Christmas at Luther's multiple diverse choirs, orchestra, organ, bells, and audience all joining together in heralding Christ's birth through classics, spirituals, and hymns. Christmas at Luther has been an important kickoff to our holiday season ever since we returned to Wisconsin following my retirement in 2006. In addition to attending each year since, we've introduced two of our favorite couples to the concert, and they've added Christmas at Luther to their to-do list every year since as well. And we enjoy not only the concert, but a wonderful weekend in Decorah, including their traditional breakfast at Ruby's with their famous frosted cinnamon buns and dinner at the Rubiat. And though we won't be able to attend in person this year, we will gather together virtually to enjoy a wonderful message and Christmas tradition with friends of Luther everywhere. Merry Christmas to all.
When we're holding hands, we all become a sea of bodies and we all feel it all together. It, music is not just an auditory experience. It is so much more than that. And just feeling it and moving together is such a big part of at least the Luther choir experience. And so it's gonna be very different how we're spread out, but I like that as we are singing still in our spread out fashions, we are moving as we please. And so it kind of emulates that still. And to work with each conductor and to work with, with each choir is an entirely different sound that you get. You will never get the same sound that you get at Cal any other time of the year. And, 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 and unfortunately, you know, we're not gonna have those rehearsals together uh, where we can collaborate. And I think like on a, on a more like lighthearted note, um, one thing I'll definitely miss, which like we all have like hilarious memories tied to, I'm sure, is like even just entering the space of the CFL and getting on the risers, there's so much like small banter, so much like tripping on your robe or like, I don't know, getting someone saying something funny right before you go out onto the stage, you know, and all those like little things that become such like hilarious memories that you think about like, oh, last year I remember when so-and-so did this. One of the things that I'm gonna really miss is that once we're done and we've sung through everything and we're walking off, I'm not gonna be able to go down the hallway and go hug my parents after, or I'm not gonna be able to go see all my friends and get photos and do all those things in our robes. And like, that's such a fun part of the experience too, when that <laughs> lobby is just so packed. Um, you're like trying to find your parents and they're like, where are you? I'm over here, <laughs> like sort of thing. I'll meet you by the tree. We'll get a photo by the tree. For me personally, uh, the candlelighter has always been my favorite moment in Christmas at Luther. Um, and it's that moment when the lights go off and it just is dead silent. And that first candle is lit. And from the audience, I remember being in, in Aurora in the balcony watching on, on stage all the, the candles just move across the stage. And that was so beautiful. But then the music is always, the emotion in the room is so high from all the students, faculty, even the, the audience members. I would be surprised if there has ever been a year where we ended the candlelighter and there were dry eyes in the room, whether it was us, whether it was the directors, whether it was the audience, yeah. I'm really gonna miss that, that high emotion that we get from being in this space together.
Thank you for joining us for this special production of Christmas at Luther. Tonight we've shared music by composers of color, anthems of inclusion, celebrations of Christ's birth, and reflections as to how we as a community must actively strive for justice and joy. As this fall approached and the list of events, rehearsals, and traditions quickly disappeared from calendars, we were left with a similar empty space in our hearts. Yet when I was sharing with my choir officers the limitations of the year, the president of Nordic Choir spoke up and reminded me, Dr. Last, if all we get is just one 30-minute rehearsal a week with everyone in attendance, then it will be the greatest 30 minutes of our week. The author John McKnight writes, we all know that community must be at the center of our lives because it is only in community that we can be citizens. It is only in community that we can find care. It is only in community that people can sing together. And if you listen carefully, you can hear the words, I care for you. We will be challenged this holiday season, challenged to find the joy without many of the gatherings or traditions which we've grown accustomed. The pageantry of Christmas Eve services, the large family meals, or the thousands of people who typically join us on campus for Christmas at Luther weekend may be missing. Yet, if there's any question as to whether the spirit of Christmas and the desire to be in community with one another is still present during these dark times, then I invite you to look into the eyes of these student musicians. Our final anthem proclaims how good it is on this journey we share to rejoice with the happy and weep with those who mourn. For the weak find strength, the afflicted find grace when we offer the blessing of belonging. How good it is to be welcomed into your homes tonight. From the Luther College community, we actively celebrate together as we remember the courageous story of Christ's birth, as we purposefully work to create justice and joy for all. Merry Christmas and happiest of holidays.
What does Christmas at Luther mean to you in one word? Connection. Together. Community. Vibrant. Magic. If I had to choose one word, it would be belonging.